I'm Nikki Haley, and I'm running for president. Former U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Nikki Haley on Tuesday kicked off her campaign for the 2024 Republican presidential nomination, the first in her party to take on former President Donald Trump in the current contest. Trump is also Haley's former boss. We are blessed to live in America. In a video released Tuesday, Haley made no direct attacks on the 45th president, but she bemoaned Republican performance in past elections. Republicans have lost the popular vote in seven out of the last eight presidential elections. Haley served as the governor of South Carolina, who was tapped by Trump in 2017 to represent the U.S. at the United Nations. The daughter of two Indian immigrants who ran a successful clothing store in a rural part of South Carolina, Haley has gained a reputation in the Republican Party as a solid conservative. It's time for a new generation of leadership to rediscover fiscal responsibility, secure our border, and strengthen our country, our pride, and our purpose. When she left her post at the United Nations in 2018, Trump showered her with praise. She's a fantastic person, very importantly, but she also is somebody that gets it. But in the years since, Haley has distanced herself from the former president several times, only to later soften her rhetoric. After Trump supporters, egged on by the ex-president's false claims of election fraud, violently stormed the U.S. Capitol on January 6, 2021, Haley told Politico she thought Trump had, quote, lost any sort of political viability he was going to have, and said she didn't think Trump would again seek federal office. But nine months later, she changed her tune, telling the Wall Street Journal that Trump, quote, has the ability to get strong people elected, and I hope he continues to do that. Haley even campaigned with several Trump-backed candidates in 2022, many of whom championed Trump's election falsehoods. Most of them lost their races. Now, Trump and Haley are rivals, and she faces an uphill battle. A Reuters Ipsos poll released on Tuesday found that 4% of registered Republicans supported her. Trump, in contrast, received support from 43% of registered Republicans. Another prospective presidential candidate, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, had the backing of 31% of registered Republicans. The Republican field is expected to grow in the coming weeks and months.